Hey guys, what's up? It's Gandra here, and today I am playing CP Batiste in the jungle. This is a highlight from my stream that I streamed today, twitch.tv forward slash Xcoundrel. And in this particular video, I played CP Batiste because I was looking to be a supportive jungler with a lot of high burst damage. They had a very squishy team, so CP Batiste was better. And the fact that they could kite me as weapon power Batiste far too easily, it meant that weapon power wasn't so viable. So I was mainly looking to play supportive for my anchor and my uh, Gwen. And we also had a sort of tank aftershock flicker top, which meant that we already had enough damage and I didn't need to go all out aggression. So that is why I picked this uh, particular hero. If you're interested in the builds and you want me to explain the the builds at the end watch the video all the way to the end or skip to the end where i will talk about the builds specifically do, 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 do. it's fine there i think we can beat them i'm i'm not concerned about beating them oh so artem's actually supporting it's actually top lane I did not expect Seiyun to be doing his own uh, his own CP trio. I was not expecting to see him to be doing his own CP tree on that's actually hilarious. This guy. I might actually go spellfire this game. energy regen. Hi Sylvia, afternoon. God, Benny, what a god. fine. We did pretty well out of that. go and I can go back after this oh no we can't uh, have I not got quality control interesting
Oops. Easy game. Thank you for the, the host. I'm going to just wait around here. I'm going to wait for this in a second. Nah, I can't get to it. Never mind. I really need to back. Seiyun is like going hardcore, like full jungle style, which I think is good, but it's also just not doing up, as well. Lamb. We're going to go, we're going to go spell fire this game, aren't we? Because we want to stop the Lyra healing and also the Arden shields and stuff. Thank you for the host, uh, are only for Twitch. I am a Twitch affiliate spirit. Uh, actually, what happens with quality controls is uh, quality controls are only available for some Twitch affiliates. Uh, they depends on how many partners are streaming and how many big channels are streaming and stuff. I might rotate mid. I'm gonna rotate mid. Okay. You take that. I thought she was coming behind us. Oh no! He was dodging away from me too much. Finn managed to escape though. Finn's a lad. Do we get bot lane turret off that? We got bot lane turret off that. That's nice. Because their uh, Lyra rotated upwards. And we go for cooldown reduction after this. I'm not going to be doing as much damage, but I'm more utility to shut down the Lyra healing as well. Because I don't think. Oh wait, wait. Um, he's also gone spell fire. Spellfire MVP. Oh wait, <laughs> Binny's here, what the hell? I was not expecting that. Yeah, let's go. I was not expecting Binny to be here. I should have gone Shatterglass maybe. I, I'm worried I'm not gonna have enough damage. Damn, Binny's top lane flicker, killing it. I'm gonna push mid lane. Oh, no, I'm not. Got him. Got him, boys. They wanna do gay swing? Okay. Do need to get bot eventually, though. Yeah, 
yeah, that was uh, that was a risk. Might be also a risk of me streaming though. Um. Oh, wait, Anchor died. It's not good. I'm gonna take RCP buffer. Fine, okay, Jozla. You just got yourself killed, though. We got a kill. Binny again. The madman. Hey Leon, ten. What work? Go for some shielding defense. To be a little bit careful about mid lane. I always need to get tier two boots. I think we're going to lose mid lane turret. Yeah, we're going to lose mid lane turret. That's fine. Though. Not much we can do about that. We've still got turrets elsewhere. forever to get through this. Damn it. That was risky, but we did it, I guess. I tried to, like, stay away from there as much as I physically could, but, yeah. That is, uh, that is squishy, squishy meta right now. Oh, I can get upgrade to boots. Nice, let's go. Oh, I've unlocked my camera at the same time. NA player still playing X3. What is X3? I don't even know what X3 is.
cool. Oof. to ghost wing they might be going to ghost wing i'm gonna be a war treads they might be going to ghost wing need to be careful there's a huge wave pot though nice war treads came in useful They didn't know we were there. I thought they knew we were there. I was really scared for just a second. Wasting them. That's good. Can waste all their scout cams doing that. I don't really mind. That was a really good pull. Yeah. Our, uh, our Finn did a good job there. So I forgot to highlight the builds on stream, uh, I usually always forget to press the gameplay tab like an idiot, however I've taken a screen cap of the VG Pro and we can talk a little bit about the builds now. I went Spellfire uh, uh, into Clockwork simply because you usually go Shatterglass into Clockwork on CP Batiste but they had a Lyra, they also had an Arden um, and I really wanted to help reduce the healing and the barriers coming out because although Anchor had a Spellfire 2, I think uh, 2 is better than 1 in this scenario and if we can shut down the Lyra specifically then it's a really good place for us to be and we don't actually need the extra damage because we have this aftershock tank flicker top and actually the but the spell fire is enough combined with clockwork to get the job done i then went for the war treads specifically because that was a supportive batiste build um it helps facilitate my team in this in sort of team fight situations and it gets everybody going because the, the point of this team is that we we really just want to keep running at them and you can see we had two war treads with flicker and with finn so i added another war treads into the mix which meant that we could constantly keep anchor in the right positions which is really good the Gwen went a very standard Sorrow Blade Tension Bow Tornado Trigger build. Anka went Spellfire Aftershock um, Broken Myth, so a little bit more on hit burst damage. Um, so mainly looking to play around the Aftershock here. They did a lot of damage that game. This is the new build that um, Binny, who is one of the people that I play with on the European server, he's been playing the Aftershock Pulse Weave uh, Flicker Top build. Works out really well. He's been doing great with it. Um, 
Baron went for Sora Blade Bonesaw. Not sure how I feel about that on Baron. Don't think it was the best build choice in the world. And you can see he went 1 and 10. Very standard build coming out from the Varia Legend VIB. I play that a lot. Um, and it looks like the CP Lyra went for a Spellfire build. Not sure why you'd need a Spellfire um, against our particular team. I actually probably would have gone uh, more standard there. But again, regardless, going for the Spellfire. And it looked like uh, C Yoon was going for a Sora Blade. Uh, tension bone maybe into tyrant's monocle build so just looking for the strict burst damage um so that is everything that you can see here in terms of build paths so hopefully that clears up any questions you might have and uh, i will see you next time for my next main glory video working on a 3v3 meta video right now um because i haven't really been playing much 3v3 for a while but i've started to play a bit more and actually do enjoy it still so hopefully we'll have that meta video out soon i'll see you soon